Hey everybody, welcome back to Stonebroke Adventure. Today's episode, we're gonna give you some options to work with for your little RV or your off-grid solar solutions. So uh, stick around, check it out. So uh, make sure you read the description down below. We got links for the products down below that really helps support the channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know what I have. Super complex, right? We have our uh, AC to DC battery charger. We have our inverter. We have a battery. Have all the bus bars, all the equipment, the shunt, the monitoring station, breakers. We have our MPPT uh, charge controller. Everything here costs money. The wires are expensive. They say if you just want to plug and play, you don't have that technical capability of building your own system get one of these I mean they work they're cost effective now they finally reached that price point all powers sent me the r2500 uh, solar power station we're gonna go through all the little features on it we're gonna do a test run on it we're gonna make sure that this thing can run a small air conditioner in our small RV this setup comes uh, as a standalone unit you can also get it and several solar panel uh, power station combinations. We actually have the 600 watt uh, solar panel kit in conjunction with the R2500. This thing has 2016 watt hours. It's a 2500 watt inverter inside of this. It's great for power outages, uh, great for camping, RVing. We have here, we have four. 20 amp 120 volt regular outlets you can see here it has a 20 amp uh, capability also your 15 amp capability right you have four of those one two three and four you have a 20 amp rv uh, 120 volt outlet there so if you want to connect this to an rv that has that 30 amp outlet this is going to work but you, this is only a 20 amp uh, capability on that everything has these nice little like water protective covers over top of them we have our 12 volt power which is your standard you know 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet and you have your 12 volt plug connectors here right and each one each one of these little systems is operated individually with a push button you have your power button here that's going to show you your complete capacity right now, we're at 65%. When you get this, it's gonna be shipped. It's not gonna be full. Max is gonna be 70% on that. They're required to ship it uh, drained down. They can't ship these at full capacity. So you're definitely gonna have to charge it up to 100%. It shows you your wattage input, your wattage output. Uh, this is your USB ports, right? You have two USB-C 100 watt fast charge ports. And you have USB-A 18 watt and USB-A 12 watt. So you got four USB-As, two USB-C ports. This, this thing is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable. To activate that little direction right here, you just hold this for a few seconds. Right there, look at that. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. With, with that Wi-Fi, you can be completely away from this unit. Uh, hundreds of miles away as long as you're within Wi-Fi range and then this is hooked up to Wi-Fi at your home You can operate this unit. You can see what all the parameters are just like you can see on this screen on your phone It will do the same thing with the Bluetooth as it does with the Wi-Fi except it just uses that Bluetooth cap capability we Look here in this panel right here. This is where we're gonna hook our AC charger or our solar chargers This does come with a little pouch. It's gonna have your operators manual this is your AC charger. Thing. The charger's all inside this unit. Right? And this cord is all you need to plug this into the wall to charge this with alternating current. Right? It also has an Anderson connector right here. Right? You can plug your solar panels into that. So that solar kit actually comes with the Anderson connector. And it has a circuit breaker just for that extra protection. If you have overcurrent going into this, it will protect the unit. All Powers does actually provide extra battery packs for this unit. And you can see here, right, these are the extra battery pack 
input port. So if we look on the top of the unit, this is set up to accept, has this little recess to accept that extra battery pack that would sit on top of that. And then you just plug it right into those ports. Let's go ahead and hook this up to the RV. Uh, we're gonna turn the uh, air conditioner on. We've got a portable refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. We're gonna see how well this handles uh, that power draw. Uh, essentially, this egg has a essentially 162 amp hour battery inside of this. If it was a 12 volt battery, you could build your entire system, but essentially a system like this contains your MPPT controller, your uh, AC to DC battery charger, uh, it has your battery in it. It has your inverter in it. It has all your outlets in it. it everything's wired. So if you're looking at like a cost comparison, uh, the time it's gonna take to build your own system, uh, buy all the wires, buy all the components, and then to find an enclosure that looks like this, really getting to the point where it doesn't make sense building your own, uh, unless you're just a real hobbyist or you're really into it. These, these standalone systems, they just work now. They're meeting that price point. So uh, let's go ahead and test this thing out on the camper and uh, show you how that works. We have it set up right next to the unit. Got this short extension cord plugged in. Hooked into the 120 volt, uh, 20 amp outlet. And this is plugged in right into the inlet on the RV, 120 volt, 15 amp inlet. You can see out here on the outside, we have the AC unit, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and reach in right now. Everything's set up for this shore power hookup. We're just gonna go ahead and turn the air conditioner on and prove that that unit will run that air conditioner. Running the air conditioner fine. Um, it's loading up right now. We'll give it a few minutes to really get that full load. So remember, an air conditioner set up like this, it isn't gonna run at full power all the time. It's gonna run at full power till it cools the inside of your unit off, and then it's gonna shut down. The compressor will shut down. So your usage time on a battery like this is gonna be a lot longer than it actually says when it's running. It's not gonna run full time, just like a refrigerator. All right, we're running our refrigerator off of our 12 volt outlet. You can see here, that's our power consumption. We're drawing 485 watts of output at 63%. We got two hours of runtime. Remember that runtime is gonna be longer than that because this air conditioner here is gonna be shutting on and shutting off. Right. And that little RV is running completely off of this battery. Now I think what we should do, even though we're shady, right? We got a lot of shade out here in the yard. We're gonna hook that 600 watt uh, solar panel up to this and uh, see how well that supports. Remember, this is pass through power. So you can actually use the solar panel, run the battery, uh, you can actually plug this in from AC voltage. You can have everything plugged in together at the same time, and it's going to pick and choose and use the uh, correct system that optimizes this battery. So you can run your AC charging off of this, your solar charge, and you can draw off of it all at the same, same time. So you have the SP39 uh, All Powers 600 watt solar panel kit, right? Has six of these flexible monocrystalline panels, right? Nice, solid, heavy duty. So these little little loops here, right? You have loops all the way around it, on, right? All four sides has these loops. It's gonna come with these carabiners, straps, if you wanna hang this thing up kinda uh, vertically. You Folds up nice and neat, nice and compact. Has that zipper pouch on the back, right? You can stuff any of your accessories back here in this back pouch has the uh, MC4 connectors right here. You can plug the included extension cord on and it has your Anderson adapter. All right, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, right? We got the SP039 600 watt panel and we have the All Powers R2500. We have our portable 12 volt refrigerator plugged in and running. We have our air conditioner running on our runaway camper. You can hear that. Right, running at full load, super hot this morning. Yeah, I would say it's already 90 degrees out. You see it's plugged in here. Right. Right, the solar panels are already producing 350 watts of power. All the equipment's only drawing 496 watts. 
So that thing will run for a long time and we're not even at peak power production. Yeah, the capacity on this solar panel, just great. 600 watt panel, we're at 10 in the morning. Uh, we're, we're pulling almost 400 watts out of this at 10 in the morning. It's not even peak time. Then comes as a kit with the R2500. Go ahead and get the 600 watt solar panel. You're not gonna regret it. We're running the air conditioner. We're running the refrigerator in our RV. This thing, this kit would be great for your hurricane preparedness, for any power outages. This thing will run a refrigerator, probably run a microwave, right? A coffee maker, uh, along with the air conditioner, everything you need, all compact, ready to go. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.